Okay, welcome back. Well, welcome to Tony Hawk's 1 and 2. This is the released version of the game. I played it all last night and recorded it, but my recording didn't turn out. Uh, my recording software reset and all the settings were set to garbage mode. So it looks like I recorded on a flip phone. Like, it's terrible. I can't upload it. So I was going to replay the game today, but I can't figure out how to reset my progress and start over. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to tell you. If you switch characters, you keep the progress. You just lose the stat points. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to do a speed run. I just want to. I just want to play the game. Okay. So anyway, I guess what I'm gonna do is just play Tony Hawk 2. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to replay that to record footage for a review. But as for today, I just want to get a video up uh, and show you what the game is like. So yeah, I have 100% progress on Tony Hawk 1. Let's just get into Tony Hawk 2 and get into the hangar. Pretty excited about it. I'm just disappointed from last night when I lost all my lost all my footage. But uh, yeah, so so far playing through one, um, I should be paying attention. A lot of these have different uh, challenges. Um, in Tony Hawk 1, I really had a good time. Uh, it felt really good. It was interesting to me because it wasn't it wasn't the same as the uh, old school game, which you would expect because, you know, there's a lot more going on. There's extra challenges. There's extra tricks. There's all kinds of stuff like that. And I think they had a really good mix of stuff. And I think for me... Um, I really enjoyed the fact that there are new cha new te new challenges. Excuse me, just waking up. My voice hasn't warmed up yet. Um, there are a lot of new challenges. So, um, come on, there we go. Uh, it feels a lot like the older games did, you know. So w the first time you played Tony Hawk, oh, did I do that one already? First time you played Tony Hawk, you had no idea where all the stuff was, right? So, um, not knowing where the uh, what was it? The life preservers were in San Diego. Is it San Diego? Uh, in Tony Hawk 1? Uh, no, I think that's San Francisco. Uh, like, that was cool because... Can I please there? Um, like, that's really cool because that feels a lot more like a classic Tony Hawk game because I don't remember where everything is uh, because it's brand new. So, um, oh, what's the point in here? There's got to be a stat in here, right? This There used to be lots of cash in here. That was the point of this area. Oh, yeah, I can move the right stick and look around. That's really nice. Oh, there's there's nothing in here. Okay. Good to know. Um, all right, so what did I not get yet? I might not have gotten a high score. I don't know what the scores are, are going to be. The scores are relatively easy uh, in Tony Hawk 1, at least. Um, let me just see what happens. Oh, that was the six score. All right. All right. What did I miss? I missed that V. I'm going to grab that. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to go grab that V, and then I will move on. No, thanks. No. Let's retry. Okay. So, the V is up there. How would one get onto that? So I think I have to grind. To grind and then transfer over, maybe? Sometimes those Vs, I don't know what they are, to be honest. I, I got all but one in the last in the last uh, session. In, uh, oh, I, I can grab that stat point, too. I got all but one in uh, the Tony Hawk 1 tour because I couldn't figure out how to get it. It was up in, in the rafters like that. Um, okay, let's go around. Grab that stat point. This was where the hard uh, cash icon used to be, so I think that's pretty cool. Can I grind that and get up onto there? Um, looks like no. Can grind it from there. Oh, I can. okay. Oh, okay. So there we go. I just got to be a little bit more cautious. This looks really good, by the way. I'm really impressed by how this looks. Um, one weird thing with, like, when you want to make an HD version of something, they tend to make everything really glossy. But it kind of works in this level. You know, like a really clean shop floor type of look. Come on. Uh, I think that it looks good. Like, even the ramps are really glossy and everything. But, um... Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. But, uh, yeah. It looks really good. I like all the posters of the old Tony Hawk games up on the wall and everything. 
Um, this is more, this is the, the HD remake that I would have wanted, you know, when the last one came out. Okay. <sighs> Come on. See, they can't modify the level, right? Like, this, these are as authentic as possible. I didn't find anything completely new or different in Tony Hawk 1, although I'm less of an expert on that. Uh, so, like, they can't put a rail here for you to use to uh, line yourself up because um, that wasn't there in the original. Oh, did I get it? Yes, right on time. Cool. All right. Yeah, that was actually a gap called Late Corner, so I guess that was as intended, even though you usually don't have to do weird... 90 degree stuff like that. Okay, let's move on to school two, my favorite level of all time. Uh, interesting thing, school one from Tony Hawk one, they actually put in bells in that level. Um, so that was interesting because I was wondering if they were gonna change them in this one. Like why would you do bells to wall ride again? But that's exactly what they did, so. Um, okay, did that count? Okay, that was weird. So the first time I did it, I got the gap for it, but I didn't get the bell. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to do the bells this time because I was trying to see where uh, if there's any more like, stats and stuff up there. That's one thing that's a bit different with this game. Um, that bench looks cool. Um, one thing that's a bit different with this game is that this one had so much cash in it. And so, like, the way that they hit all the cash icons and stuff is interesting. Um, okay. Should I be... Uh, let's try to grab a score while I'm at it, I guess. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like, they have all these extra hiding spots that they can't use because there's no cash anymore. And there's only... There are two or three stat points in each level. There was one that had four in it in Tony Hawk 1. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of kind of weird. Like, it's not normal. Like, in Tony Hawk... Um, in Tony Hawk, that was the pro score, okay? In Tony Hawk 3, they had uh, five in each each level. You can't do five in each level because there's so many levels with two games, you know, so. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's just, it's two, three, maybe four. All right, so let's grab that. Oops. Oh, I was trying to make the gap and then maybe go back. I don't know why, whatever. I got time. Oh, I forgot I was going for score, though. <laughs> okay. There we go. Here we go. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Come on. There's uh, usually, like, a tire tread there. Oh, yeah, one thing I noticed last night is I do a random ollie every now and then. Um, I'm using an Xbox One controller. Oh, of course. I'm... I'm Using an Xbox One controller, like, I don't know why, but every now and then, when I'm just cruising around, I will ollie without intending to. I don't I don't know what's up with that. Um, maybe my controller's failing, maybe... I don't know. Like, I, I can't imagine the game has a more sensitive ollie button, that, you know what I mean? Like, it's either I'm holding it or I'm not, so I think that's probably a controller issue, but... Just something to note. It kind of sucks while I'm skating around and I have to I miss a combo or whatever because I've randomly ollied in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Okay. Wait, did I? Okay, flip T. Okay, so I just did that. Did I get the bells? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember getting the one over there by the dumpster. Okay, I kick flipped that twice. It didn't count the first time. That was kind of weird. I have noticed a couple little weird things in this game that I don't like very much. Um, do you know the uh, gap in the downhill jam level? There's a, a pipe that goes across the half pipe. I don't know why I'm trying to get this T so bad. That happens a lot too. You air right over stuff. It seems like that happens a bit more in this game. Um, anyway, you uh, yeah. so that pipe, you can grind it to get over. Um, and you used to be able to like... It was a lot easier. You can't just, like, transfer onto it. Um, you get stuck to this wall, and you kind of wrap around the side. It's it's weird. I, oh, come on. Yeah, there's supposed to be tire tracks right here that show you where that actually is. Whatever. Uh, my stats are a lot better because... There we go. My stats are a lot better because this isn't the second level in the game anymore. It's, you know, halfway through the game, so... 
that gap is not that hard. Did I get the passes? I did. Okay, roll call rails and skate is all I have left. That's fine. Okay, that's going to have to be next time. All right, let me just retry. Okay. So, yeah, there are a couple little things where the design has changed in ways that I think is worse. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. I think the pros out outweigh the cons on this one. Okay. Don't know if I got all the stats yet, so I'm just going to look in some of those old cash hiding spots. Um, oh, yeah, one cool thing is when there's cars... Um, so like the taxis and um, the buses and stuff like that, uh, they are crazy. They don't just drive really fast, like they drift around and they're like swerving and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it looks a lot, it's a lot cooler than in the old games where they're just kind of driving around really fast. Um, there we go. Need some more skate letters. Um, so yeah, like it's 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 kind of cool to watch them. They're just as annoying as they ever were, flying around and getting in your way and stuff. But uh, yeah, from a graphics perspective, I really don't have any complaints about this game. Okay, so the K is here. Big old double flip to Fakey. JK reverted out. Okay, there's a stat right there. I can come back and get that, but that's more important. Okay. Okay, so my technique to get up there was always just to wall ride right here. Oops. To wall ride right there. Do a little... I said do a wall ride. Can I not wall ride that? Um, there's a little ramp up there, so it kind of expects you to, I think. Okay. Fine, whatever. And then, and then Ollie right over the stat point. There's actually a stat point in Minneapolis, I think, where you can't, like, I, it took me a bunch of tries to actually get it. Oh, I'm still missing one. It must be over there. Um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to see if I can find that one real quick in the Carlsbad area. Um, and there's a stat point you can't get because you ollie right over it. There's like a, a, a ramp and it's on top of a car and you gap right over the car every time. <laughs> like, I had to not, I had to just tap A and not hold down to ollie to make sure that I didn't jump right over it, which is kind of annoying. Can I just make it up here like this? I can. Okay. Okay. So, is there a stat point down here? I would expect one to be in the quarter pipe. It's not. Uh, it might be in the gap that goes over the wall. No? There's nothing here? Okay. So, you know, one thing I was talking about in the video that I couldn't finish um, is that the, the level design in this game is technically... Oh, I bet it's inside the... I bet it's inside the gym. Okay. Um, okay, so to unlock the gym, you have to go straight there and grind the rail before the first bell hits, I think. Which shouldn't be a problem because my stats are pretty high, so my my speed should be fine. But um, oh, there was one of those random alleys I was talking about. Um, okay, so let's see if I can get that. All right, I actually forgot what I was saying, so excuse me for that. Okay, so is it in here? Being able to look around like that is so nice. In the old games, uh, if you wanted to look around, you would just have to like do lots of errors and just see what happens. Oh, that was the V. Okay, cool. I needed that. Uh, oh, could you always go out that door? I don't think you could. Maybe. I might have learned something new about Tony Hawk right then. Okay. Yeah, but being able to look around like that, that's pretty nice. Uh, in, a, in a game that's designed around looking for stuff, you know, being able to actually look around is kind of a big deal. Um, I don't really know where the last stat could be, to be honest with you. Um, if it's not up there, because there's some gaps up there. That looked open. Oh, okay, it's just 3D in there. That's cool. Yeah, the graphics, uh, really nice. Everything looks really gross, though. Uh, one thing I, w I really liked was the mall. Tell me it's right there. Come on, that would have been cool. Is the the mall. So, like, when the Tony Hawk games came out, malls were still a big deal. Now, malls are mostly shut down. There's one in, in my area, but there's not a lot of malls left in the country. So, the mall is shut down. Like, it's it, it's not just shut down. It's not just, like, closed. It looks post-apocalyptic. Like, everything is destroyed and boarded up and everything. 
Um, sorry for those of you who have seen the stat point like 50 times and I just glance right over it. I don't think there's anywhere I haven't been in the level yet, so no doubt it's been on the screen at some point. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, like it, it looks, it looks like it's been abandoned for decades and it's like been, you know, used as the, uh, scene of a zombie apocalypse or something like that. Like <laughs> they may have overdone it a little bit, but, um, I'm just going to move on, but, uh, it, it looks really good, you know? Okay. Here we go. Marseille. One thing they could have ruined, which I hope they didn't. Oh, the graffiti is... I mean, that might be what it looks like now, but all those plain-looking ramps, that's not uh, quite as cool. One thing that you can do now is you can actually update your stats in a run. So let me give myself some more... Oh, I've got 11 points. Yeah, I haven't updated my stats in a while. Um, manual balance. The ma manual balance is kind of hard in this game. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels a little bit tougher. Okay, so this... <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, and it kicks you out to the side. Good. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Okay. Okay, cool. Missed the revert on that, but that's fine. Do some buttery lines here. Okay. Fake impossibles look weird. The fakey right there. Um, the it looks like an uh, an inward heel flip instead of a uh, varial kick flip. Uh, they animated that wrong. Although if you do a fakey inward heel flip, it looks different. Like they have two different versions of a fakey inward heel flip for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Um, I noticed that in the demo, and unfortunately they have not fixed it. I hope they do, but they haven't. Okay. So, um, I don't know if this is good enough. I'm just kind of screwing around. Okay, can I grab that stack? Yeah! Okay. So I bet I know where that V is. And it's probably in the hidden area down there. I figured one of the stats... Oh, no, the V was right there. Okay, so if I get the V um, right there, what is the purpose of the... Um, oh, it's just as hard as it used to be. I always have a hard time with that. I'm going to try to grab some some points, and I'll, I'll worry about the stat on the last run when I know that I've got the competition in the bag. Um, but, or if I screw this one up really bad, I can use it for that. But, um, one thing I, I was talking about in the last video was how the design, uh, like how the, the, the map design and everything is actually kind of bad. Um, like it's classic and I wouldn't want it any other way. It's just like the, uh, the game is designed for spine transfers, reverts, manuals, and all that type of stuff. And the stages were not. So there's a part in Roswell, in Tony Hawk 1, where there's this uh, this grind rail. And if you gap off, off of it, it just leads you into a hallway with a wall that you run into. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to grind on in there. There's no way to keep your, your line going. You just hit the wall, and it's over. And so, like that's kind of bad design technically but the, that game that level was designed without you being able to have combos really so oh i forgot to get the v <laughs> whatever okay so this area um it has no use there's nothing in here right yeah there's nothing in here it looks good oh there's that green uh, this green doll is somewhere in the levels uh it's an alien but what what do you do with it? I don't know. Um, that was the first time I squashed it. I just I've just noticed them before. I wonder if I have to go squash them all and I unlock the alien. Maybe supposedly there's an alien in the game, a Roswell alien specifically. Well, I'm gonna have to do this level again. I forgot all about the stupid V. I hate this gap. There's us there's usually a cash icon here in in the original, and you always just. Uh, like, if you gap out of it, you just kind of clear it like that. Um, if you... Oops. Okay. No, no, no. I don't have enough speed. If you try to air out of it, that doesn't work either. So, like, you just you just do it over and over and over, and you get lucky eventually. No, thanks. Let's restart the competition. I just got to get that. Okay. I got it. No big deal. I'm going to get a first try. If you get a really good angle at it, every now and then... No. Okay. Well, can you spine? Oh, you can't grind in the middle of a spine transfer, but I was just realizing that you can spine transfer. Come on. <laughs> I, I genuinely hate this gap in the game because I don't understand how to do it. 
Like, I feel like I'm getting nowhere near the height that I should. I've always done it that way. Can I go come at it from this direction? Does that make it easier? No. Can I come at it this way? Can I, can I land on it in the middle of that transfer? Is that something that people will do? Well, you can't transfer it that way. I'm, I'm gonna learn this one of these years. Oh, okay. Now turn around, please. No. Oh. Okay. I mean, that worked. I got up on there. No. Okay. You can't do it on the other side because uh, it's not. I got a. I got an 80 something for that run. Okay. Uh, because there's there's no transition on the side. Oh, maybe there is. Can I? Oh, okay. Even with that super tight corner, you can still transfer around it. Come on. No. Please. I don't want to spend three competitions attempts on this bar. Grind it. Ugh. I was holding Y the whole time, I promise. It just didn't work. Uh. Come on. Oh, 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 I did it. Okay. I stopped yeah, yeah, yeah. talking for a while because it took a couple more runs. And that's just what I always used to do. It just, every now and then it'll work. I don't, I don't know, whatever. It's authentic. I can't complain about that. I still got a bronze, which just, <laughs> which just attempts to, uh, to get that. Okay, fine. You know, the, uh, the V thing is not on the collectibles. Uh, and neither is, oh, you know what I, I want to do real quick. I want to go back down there and see if the alien stayed squashed. Like, is that something I need to be doing? Do I need to be finding and squashing the alien all the levels, or is it just like a weird Easter egg thing? Okay, why'd you put that there? Okay, here we go. So the alien was right over here. Did he stay squashed? He did. Okay, so the alien um, is a collectible. Okay. Good to know. I get out of here. Yeah, I lose. Whatever. Let me play. Let's go to New York. Okay, so no doubt collecting all the aliens will unlock an alien character. Um, I have not been doing that as I played though, so. Okay. What do I want to do? Guess I'll get skates. Oh, that used to be uh, grass. Isn't it? That bank? Okay. I missed the K over there, but that's alright. I'll go back and do it again. Yeah, that bank right there, that used to be grass, I think. Cool. Pigeon pudding. Got the A. Come on. Let me get up over here. I might be able to grab all the tickets while I'm at it, too. This level's not huge. Oh, it's a subway card now. Oh, I missed that one. Subway card, not a ticket. Yeah, hopefully I don't get hit by that. I would like you to see uh, how crazy the uh, the driving is now, but I also don't want to get caught up by it. There we go. Cool. Okay, so the T, that was an accidental alley. I figured I'd make a combo. That was another accidental alley. That's so weird. I don't know what's up. To talk to Microsoft about a new controller. Okay. And by talk to them, I mean buy one. Okay, so I got that one more. Oh, that rock is a lot chunkier than it used to be. There we go. Cool. So I got skate, right? Okay. I can grab a six score real quick, probably. Uh, oh, there's a stat over there. Oh. You know, I'm. You can't. You can't get off the board in this game. But in certain times, it would have been really helpful. You know, like if you if you run into something, it can really help to uh, get yourself going again. But um, none of the levels, of course, are designed for that, and I don't really like that. It, it just it's just helpful every now and then. That's all. Okay. I don't know what the six score is. Uh, whatever it is, I didn't get it yet. Okay. Come back around. Switch dark slide. Okay, is that enough? I feel like that's probably enough, right? 150. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Hydrants, subway rails, Joey's sculpture, secret tape. Hydrants, rails, sculpture. No thanks. 
Okay. Here we go. 50-50. Nice. Buttery. Uh, let's grab the hydrants. Oh, that's where the V is. I do know how to get that. Ooh, front side flipped. How do you like that? You were asking for an ollie. You got a front side flip. Front blunts. Okay, here's the other hydrants. Okay. One more down here. It's not the most exciting challenge in a Tony Hawk game, but whatever. It is classic. Um, <laughs> excuse me? Can I, I not nolly it? Okay, it was fine if I fake yollied it, but not if I nollied it. Weird. Um, should I, yeah, I'll grab this stat. Probably still have time to grind the rails. There we go. Cool. I bet the rest of them are over in the other side. Okay. So. Let's grind the rail. I should have waited until that went a little further. I thought it was going to go farther than that. Okay, that was good enough, right? Yes. All right. There's a stat over there. Secret tape is around the top up here. Okay. So this game, I I know a lot better. Oh, that was... No, sorry. Messed that up. Bad time for me to just say how I know this game better. Uh, in the Tony Hawk 1 levels, they added in stuff to make it an equal amount of... Um, challenges as these games so you're collecting new things and um i i really liked that because you know like i'm as i'm cruising around in this game i know where everything is so it's not that big of a deal i don't know where the stats are and one thing that was interesting is um oh, come on no, i'm not gonna get it um so that's where the tape is there's another stat over here let me just grab that that's all the stats okay um so like when I'm looking for a new thing that's never been in the Tony Hawk levels, it feels more like the original, like the first time I played the game, you know, because it's new stuff that I don't know how to find. Um, so I, I, I did like that. And one thing I, I noticed is when you play, I played in the demo as Tony Hawk. Um, trying to, oh, don't, don't go there. I'm trying to get over to where that, uh, where that V collectible is. You used to be able to just jump over there, but I don't remember there being a wall in the way before. Okay. Oh, come on! Don't... It's supposed to be a boneless, not a manual. No! Come on. Okay. Let's try that again. So yeah, the stat points that Tony Hawk had in the warehouse were different than Mullen here. So I don't know if it's a per-character thing. It may be... In Tony Hawk 3, it was, um... Seriously? It was Street Skaters and Vert Skate. <laughs> street Skaters and Vert Skaters had different, there we go, had different stat uh, point locations. And so uh, I, I wonder if that's what it is. That's probably it. I doubt they have enough locations to use, unless they use a cache lo lo locations and they just use different ones for every single player. It's possible. I'm not sure. Okay. So let's not screw it up this time. There we go. Se secret tape. Is that everything? That is everything. Let's end the run. Cool. So it's uh, Venice Beach. Let's go. Oh, I wouldn't mind running into her at Venice Beach. Knife I could maybe do without, but... Okay, and of course everything is like gross and disgusting. <laughs> and wet. So like everything's shiny and wet. But this is California, like, how often does it really rain here? You know? Like, never? So, I don't know why everything's wet. Okay. Let's do some spray cans, because I happen to grab that one. Maybe throw in a score while we're at it. Okay, west side transfer. VB pit transfer. I don't actually remember where I'll... This one, this level, I it, take, it tends to take me a while. I don't actually remember where everything is all that easily in here. Uh, oh, that's in the middle. Okay. I'll have to figure out how to get that later. Okay, that's an A. That's not a paint can. I'm not on the paint can track anymore. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, that's a paint can. I think there's one down, down here. 
Yeah, the Nolly tray flips are still backwards. They didn't fix that. The paint can. Oh yeah, and there's one more in the toward the beginning. That's right. <sighs> Accidental Ollie. Okay. Throw some score action in there. Okay. Here we go. Oh, accidental ollie. That's the worst time for it. Right when I'm rolling up the transition. Okay, fine. At least I didn't miss the goal because of it. Well, yet. I haven't gotten it yet. There we go. Now I flip underflip to Indy, which he does with the wrong foot, I think. Uh, normally he does the underflip with his front foot, even in Nolly. Um, but I think the animation he does it all with his back foot. I don't know why it's so hard to just look at the footage of the trick that you're trying to show and just do it that way. I, I, I really don't understand why there's so many mistakes with the tricks. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say there's necessarily more than the originals, you know, but um, I, I don't have all the skate letters, right? Okay. Um, did I get six score? I have not been paying attention. <laughs> that is quite the line right there. I weren't able to do that in the original. Okay, so I got six score. Oh, six score was two hundred thousand. I think that's less than than the original. Okay, and you have a lot higher stats and more tricks. The scores really should be bumped up quite a bit. They have a high combo now, but that's also so low that it doesn't really matter. Okay, so skate and secret tape. I think those are kind of along the same path. So let's do that. Um, S is up there. Okay, yeah, everything's just soaking wet. And I get why they do it, because there's not much going on if you don't, you know? Like, it's just a roof. What do you put here? You can't add more stuff, because they're trying to stay true to the original. So they can't put in all these extra things that get in the way. So to make it visually interesting, oh, I can, I can hit this ramp, I think. That's how you get the V. Uh, so I think that's why everything is wet and shiny. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay. Oh. Okay, I should I should focus on what I'm trying to do here to make sure I don't... Okay, here we go. Ah. <laughs> so this quarter pipe is at an angle, so like you gotta hit it... <laughs> You gotta hit it right. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, let me hit this. The stat point over there, I wouldn't mind getting. Actually, let me just do that because I can uh, do my tail slide here while I'm at it. Switch front tail slide, yeah, no big deal. Okay, so what was that other? Th oh, yeah, there's a stat point up there, I wouldn't mind getting. Um. Hmm, that's harder than it used to be. So what I used to do is I used to do this, because there was a big cash icon. Okay. Huh. So to make sure you're you're lined up is the point. Wait, okay, maybe it's this one. To make sure you're lined up, you grind it first, and then you hit the quarter pipe, and then you come back. Ah. Or you air out of the quarter pipe and lose your opportunity. Okay, so... VB transfers, maybe I'll try this time. I need to get those stats too, and that V icon. Okay, let's see how hard this is. Okay. Yeah, I think um, just the fact that this game is second, uh, your stats are, are, are already pretty high, so it's tough to make a lot of it difficult. You know, they can't change the level to make all the gaps bigger. But meanwhile, your stats are going to be higher. Oh, it's the short side, right? Uh, but meanwhile, all of your stats are going to be higher. Oops. Not me, Nolly, there. Um, so, like, it's just going to be easier, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Does that... Oh, you don't stick to that? Come on. How am I supposed to get up to there without that grind? Okay. I need to not forget what I'm trying. Let me just go grab that transfer before I forget. Okay. Do a speedy sack tap down it. Uh, such a fun trick. Oh, I actually got up here. Okay, so now let me try secret tape. Oh, these... I hate these quarter pipes so much. It always does the opposite of, of what I expect. Okay. Oh, that's a stat. 
tricked me. I aim toward the wrong thing, and I end up getting neither. Okay. Hop up here. Okay, my stats should be plenty good for this. But no, look at I'm way over there. Okay, I have always hated that one. Uh, people have always said you can pop up from the tables down there. Um, you can pop up from the tables down there, and that may be true, but I've only done that once, and I found that to be much harder than just doing that gap like I've been trying it. Um, I don't know why, but I just can't get the timing right to get a huge amount of air off of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the way I, I have to do it that way. I can't, I can't do it the other way, so. All right. Let's, um, how many stats, do, do I have a significant amount of stats right now? I have eight, okay. So air, hang time, ollie, and speed. So, and switch, okay. Now, if I can't get it now, then I am in trouble. Let me try to grab this while I'm at it. Oh. See, in that, in that case, um... <laughs> What do I do? So I'm not gonna hold. There we go. I I didn't hold Ollie. I just rode up to it. Uh, when your stats are too good to collect things, it's kind of weird. Okay. Oops. I'm in switch, which was not my intention. Okay. I got a lot more. I didn't I didn't aim very well though. Let's gap out. Let's maybe not do it switch for once. Ah. Oh. See, like right there. That's also authentic. But um. When you hit a, a ramp, and sometimes you just ollie as if it's flat, like every now and then that happens. I don't, I don't really get it, but oh, please, okay, I carved to make sure that didn't happen. I carved and came at it at an angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Come on. Oh, this game. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I don't carve or make sure I don't transfer. So I'm carving into it, but. I, it's still not enough. And then I accidentally did a revert and came out of it switch, even though the whole point was not to do it. And see, that time, that's exactly what I'm talking about right there, where I hit, hit that same gap. And every now and then, you just don't get very high. Okay, so let me just start in the middle. No! Why is that so hard? No! Mm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. See, in that time I got a ton of air. Okay, so this quarter pipe, I'm just gonna be in the middle, I'm gonna be as straight as possible. There we go. I even did a stiffy, speaking of straight, <laughs> come on. I don't I don't know how to get the secret tape in this, in this level. It's time for me to admit it. It's been 20 years, I have no idea how to get the secret tape. See, like what some people do, they just grab the... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you how that doesn't actually work, and, and that happens. Okay, cool. I won't complain, I guess. That's fine. Uh, I want to grab that stat point. Is that gonna be too high? Yeah. Do I? Oh, do I have to grab that? Grab that from a table? Do I just pop? <laughs> there we go. That's what I expect. That's how the tables work. You just bounce off of them, and they do weird stuff. Okay. It's right there. Can I just pop up there and grab it? No. Okay. So I have to get the uh, magic bum, but, oh, can I just miss? There we go, that's what you do. You just ignore the, the ramp, there we go. Fine, okay, so there's one more stat point over there. I was trying to get it by grinding those wires. I think that's probably the wrong way to do it. You just do that, <laughs> yeah. No need to be to do anything weird. Okay, so last thing in here is the magic bum. It'll be time to move on. I'll do a kickflip. Nose main, Nally Trey. Ah, uh, the tray flip's being the wrong way. Kinda makes it less fun for me. Okay. One out of five bums. Okay, next one is around the corner over here. Right, I think he's right here. No, oh, come on, don't do this to me. I always forget the, the order. I always forget the order. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another one of his locations. He's not there. He must be down, down here. Um, he may need to flip out. Is he down here? Yes. 
Okay. Let's come back around. Um, so there's the last one. But before that, he's going to be right there. Yes. And then he's going to be over there. Crookie monster. There you go. That was an accidental ollie, but I almost cleared him anyway. No. There we go. Quickest way to get back is to just jump in the sand. Although there's sand everywhere, isn't there? Like, they made some of this into sand, didn't they? Where where was I earlier? Oh no, it kind of looks like sand when you're in the air. It's just like really bumpy and wavy pavement. Okay, fine. Anyway, let's end the run. And that was everything. All right, next level, we got Skate Street. There are two secret areas in this in this game. I haven't noticed anything new. I think they've they've retained all of the um, all the old secret level secret areas, but I don't think they added anything new, which is fine. Okay. It it would have been interesting though, because you know, like I was saying, where you you have new things to collect. Um, it feels more like a, uh, an old school game because you have that same feeling of having to search for new things. If there are new secret areas, it might kind of give you that feeling again of like hunting for secrets, which you don't really get when you've played the game before. Um, but yeah, it's fine. I, there's, you know, the secret, uh, there's those V's, there's the, there's a V right there. There's the dolls, the you know green alien dolls and stuff. So there's stuff to. Uh, how how have I hit this quarter pipe twice? It's that narrow. I still haven't collected the thing. Okay. All right. Yeah, this outside area is still really weird. Like there's no lines. It's just some some ramps that are randomly placed. Okay. I got a 97 for that. Man, this is really not that hard. Because <laughs> I'm not even trying to do tricks really. Okay. Um, okay, this this level looks really perfect compared to the other ones. Like everything's clean and smooth, like freshly. Yeah, there's some there's some marks here and there. Accidental ollie, that'll happen. Um, there's some some marks here and there, but it all looks like freshly redone. You know. Okay. All right, let's come around. There's probably a stat. Oh, it used to be two hundred fifty dollar bill right there. So there's nothing. There's no purpose to this secret area. Okay, I figured there was going to be at least a stat point there or something. Okay, whatever. Let's do some more buttery lines. Okay. Okay, dark side. Okay, that's probably good enough. How did I do on stats? I, I got one point higher, and I was actually trying that time. Okay, fine. All right. Does it tell me how many stats? No? It doesn't tell me what, how many stats? Okay, so I might, oh, there's one right there. Okay, that, that'll tell me. That might be the last one. Of course. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times uh, yesterday I ollied right over stuff that I needed. There we go. Oh, two out of two. Okay, so I got the V because that was in the secret area. So uh, I got this competition wrapped up. I might as well do two nollie flip under flips and then end my run. Okay. How'd I do? Oh, I got the gold. Okay. Uh, no, is that? I don't think that's next. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got Philly in the bull ring and that's it. And then we're done. Yeah, this is taking a lot. Well, no, I think we're still on track. Took about the same amount of time as Tony Hawk 1. Um, not that I've beaten this yet. Okay, lift trick. Yeah, yeah, I know where everything is. Okay. Ah. Oh, there was two accidental alleys in a row. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to go buy a new controller tonight. Okay. Um, okay. Grab some of these bells. You know what? When you do the exact gap that it's designed for, hmm, you shouldn't be able to not get it. Right? What? Why? I don't understand why I can't get that. 
I thought you just do a wall ride there. Fine. We do a tiny switch ollie. Now grab it. Mmm, those are the same. I have the same problem with these as the uh, roof, the ramp to get up to the roof right there. See? Like, sometimes I'm the next time I do it, I'm going to fly a million miles in the air. There we go. But sometimes I just don't get anything. Okay, so let's not try to tackle too many things at once. Okay. No. You'll flip. There we go. Okay, so more bells, more bells. There's one. Oops, well, I might as well do that anyway. Um, one of the other bells is up here. Yeah, there we go. Complete. Let's grab that E. Uh, the T is right there. I don't remember where the S is off the top of my head. Grab that transfer out. I think it's up here, though. Those stairs are giant. Did you see how big those stairs are? It's always been like that. But when the graphics are, are better, it's obvious when... Oh, there was a B up there. Yeah. It's obvious when like each stair is up to your waist. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, they had to stick to the original. I guess they could have put more stairs in there. They could have made that like an 8 set instead of a 4 set. And I think it would have been fine. You know, from like a remake perspective, I think that's still reasonably oh crammed it the wrong way so reasonably accurate okay so i can try to get that v blunt slide the awning that's what it was okay you know i was forgetting something no thanks let's retry okay so i'm gonna get back up there to see if i can grab that v okay oh when did i i was riding regular and i just landed switch that was very weird. I didn't like that at all. Okay. Oh, oh, stop. Cool. Yeah, with uh, being able to do foot plants, makes some of this stuff a little bit easier. There we go. Cool. Well, there's a stat point over there. Okay. You can always wall ride and grind around this corner. Although, yeah, that's that seems to have changed in this game. Like, you stick to the wall a lot more when you do a, a wall ride than you used to. Um, because some of those grinds are a lot harder than they used to be. Okay, I don't think I have to slide a certain amount or anything. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just kind of going for stats and stuff right now. I got a, I got a lip trick. I got a lip trick the four gaps. But let's try to do this. Yeah, this is a lot easier. That gap is really, really hard in the original. Uh, to get the secret tape in this level, you got to be... I guess my stats are, are really good, but like... Even so, I feel like it's a little bit easier than it used to be. Um, oh yeah, there's another stat over here. I might as well grab that. And then I'll get a fresh timer when I go back for the awnings. Um, what? How do I get that? Can you wall ride on a fence? You can. Oh, wow. You can wall ride on a fence and you can get 30 feet of air. Okay, so I don't want 30 feet of air. There we go. Oh, I'm missing one still. Maybe it's in the skate park area. Does anything stand out? I only got a few more seconds. I might as well just look around. Is there any floaty, glowy things? Oh, that's a that's a bush mostly. Okay, hopefully it's in there. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I have to knock the fence down again. I I knocked it down. Okay, that doesn't stay. Okay, well I didn't notice that, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, right, you see right there, I start off really, really slow. If you are holding a when you start the level, sometimes uh, you don't, it doesn't recognize that you're holding it down. That might be my controller thing because I was having trouble with random ollies. You know, maybe it randomly doesn't think that I'm holding it anymore. Um, okay. But I have noticed that happening fairly often. Okay. Sorry if you can hear dogs barking. My neighbors are the worst. I mean, everyone's neighbors are the worst, right? Okay. I actually have a newfound respect for my neighbors because they're just normal people that are kind of annoying. Um, a friend I have lives next to like a, it's like a mental health facility or whatever. And people are always like outside screaming at each other. Okay. I promise I'm hitting the, the Y button. Um, 
people are always outside like screaming at each other and then like the police have to come and then there's like a crack house down the street and stuff. Like I don't have that type of stuff next door. I just have lots of dogs and they always bark at each other and then they bark at the neighbor's dogs and then the other neighbor's dogs start going and then my dog starts going and it's just kind of annoying. Okay, so I need to get 250,000 points. Um, which again, pretty low. Don't have a ton of time, but like it's still probably pretty attainable. Okay, that was a crappy combo, but that's fine. I have not added any special tricks either. I, I really should have been doing that. I don't know why. I, I like to just play the game as it is. No, no, I don't. I just don't customize my stuff too much. Like, I've been playing uh, Batman. I think it's the most recent one. It's on the Game Pass for Xbox. And, like, I have all of these upgrades that I can do, and I just don't. Like, I don't, I don't know why. I just don't. Well, it was 200. Do I have it already? There's a couple... <laughs> Unwanted ollies right there, which is kind of funny. Um, whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter because I bailed. Did I get it? Yes. Okay. So I noticed that I said something about unlocking the chopper drop. It was a terrible level. Oh, there's a helicopter right there. Maybe that's... A reference to it? I I do like that there's a, a drone flying around in the competition le levels to, like, film you. That's kind of cool. Like, you know, they could have had people around and stuff, but, like, if there was a filmer following you around, that would have been really lame. Or if there were cameras floating everywhere, that would have sucked. So, like, having a drone flying around is kind of out of the way, but it's a little detail that you can notice. I think it's cool. I think it was a good choice. Oh. Hopefully I don't have a run-in with that bull. I, I, I do want to see what he looks like. But I don't want to see him that close during my run. Okay, so the way you used to be able to cheat at this level is to come up and grind this. There we go. All of these lights are a gap. So you get a huge multiplier. Yeah, that was almost 200,000 points. And I just did a grind. Uh, you have to do it from the right ways, though, because half of the ramps are really short, half of them are tall. You can only really get up there from the tall ones. I think you can do it from the short, but, like, you gotta you gotta do it just right. Okay. How'd I do? 99. Oh, wow. That was... <laughs> it's, it's either, like, 98 or 99.9. .9. I've never gotten in the 99 range before. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, the helicopter crashes before every run. That's... Okay. And I the I, I feel it crash in my controller. I feel the controller vibrate when it hits the ground. Okay. Okay, so there used to be, and if you aren't super familiar with the original games, there is cash in half of the turds down there in the bull area, and they're bright green, and that's how you can tell. Uh, I wonder if there's stat points or bees or something in there. See, there's the turds still. There's no cash in them anymore, so they're kind of pointless. And that's the thing I was talking about with the... Um, I need to get points, not show you things. Uh, I think that's one of the things where I was talking about how the stage design is not that good. Because, like, that had a purpose. That was really cool for the time. Um, but now it's just there to be there like it's there because the original had it It's not there because there's a reason for it, you know Okay, so I didn't notice how many stats there were. There's the V so I know how to get that I got to do it. Oh There's one right there cool I don't, what, <laughs> What's the point of that extra platform? Okay up to the stand. This is a tall one, right? Okay, so I can get up there I can grab the V. There we go. There's one more stat point in this level. There's also a green doll, probably. Those are a lot harder to find, though. Um, there's one green... Oh, okay, there's one V I haven't gotten. You know, let me just ride through here and see if the stat... Oh. Uh, see if the stat point's hidden in a turd. I think that would be... Oh, it's okay, it's just there. That's fine. I was, I was going to say, like, that would be a good reference to the original, but... It would have been really weird in this game. You know, like, there's nothing like that going on. You wouldn't know to look in there, so it, it would feel a little bit cheap to do that. 
So I think I think that's a fair way to do it. Okay. So about wrapped this up. There we go. Yeah, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of pomp and circumstance when you beat the game. Like when I beat one, it did the same thing. Okay. Just a challenge completed, whatever. Okay. So, I got the gold. Am I gonna get a video? No. I'm just gonna get chopper drop. Okay. I would like to see what kind of video I want. Oh, cinematic. Okay, cool. Now this level, I wouldn't have minded if they expanded on it. You know, they were keeping everything as authentic and original as possible, which is cool. Um, <laughs> this ramp does not look scalable. Uh, keep everything as original as possible, but this is the whole level. So you can do this, you can come over, you can bail that, and you can just go here. And the end. This is the chopper drop. It's, it's nothing. I don't know why this exists. This is just a little bonus thing um, that there's really... Come on. <laughs> it's a really annoying ramp this gate, as you can see. Um, yeah, there's not much to do here, but here it is. So, whatever. I'm not mad that it's here. I, I This this would have been one time when I wouldn't have minded that they did not um, There's still Skater Heaven, which I imagine I'm going to have to beat it as every player, which actually you can't... You don't have to beat it as every player because these the goals are all done now. Like the game is done. I'm 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 done with it. I played an hour yesterday. I played what am I at? An hour and a minute. <laughs> so in about two hours, I've completed the game. All I have to do is uh, go back with other player with other skaters and find the stat points. Uh, there's challenges and stuff. You've seen the challenges um, popping up. Let me see if I can. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yes, I guess we'll go to Skate Heaven. I expected that was going to take a little bit more work. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that I have Skate Heaven already. Skate on, my son. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I, I was expecting I was going to have to, like, you know, get all of my... Get all the skaters up to full stats or something like that. Like, in, in the original, I, I believe you had to beat the game as everybody to get it. Um, I don't remember because I would typically just put in a cheat code. Um, but yeah, okay. So I already have it. Uh, I saw those glowing black things that were in. There's one. Let's see what that is. Is this something I need to worry about? Oh, I couldn't reach it. Oh, that that was weird. <laughs> I mean, the the style is is really cool. I I like how it. Feels. I don't know why Skate Heaven would be so, like, crusty and dirty and stuff. Like, I get it, you know? They were trying to put in all this extra detail. I don't think that's anything. I think that's just... No, that's just graphics. I don't think those are anything. There's no collectibles in this level. It's just something you can skate around. Um, yeah, so uh, Heaven is apparently digital because you see, like, all the 3D blocks that are building up that building up these areas. It's also really dingy and gross. <laughs> like, look at this. Skate heaven. This is what the pavement looks like. Big cracks. Like, everything's terrible. Uh, so this is what, um, what's that level? Skater? What was Skater Island? What was that? What's that level called? The skate park. The second competition. I can't remember what it's called at the top of my head. That one should have been crusty and, and dingy. Skate Street. Um, they may not have wanted to make a real place look bad, but like, if one of them is going to be dingy and one of them is going to be beautiful and perfect, I think maybe Heaven should have been the perfect one. I don't know. Call me crazy. I'm not sure. I don't know the deep lore in the Tony Hawk games as far as like, you know, am, am I dead? I don't know. I think I'm probably dead. I'm dead now, anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to do one more run here, and then I'm going to show you the challenges stuff. I don't really understand all of what it is right now, because you've seen half of all the time I've played the game. I haven't really messed around with it. Maybe I'll try to figure that out. Um, I want to figure out... Yeah, I, I bail on a manual fairly often in this game. It hasn't slowed me down, obviously. I'm, I'm already in heaven. But, um... 
What did I say? Sadlands Moon Park? Oh yeah, like, heaven is on the moon, I guess. Do I have moon physics? I don't think so. I mean, I have, oh. see that's not very heavenly right there, to have something that looks like a door that just leads you to your death. That's not very cool. So you do have, um, you do have game mods, and you unlock these as you play, so you can put on your assists, which are just, uh, super stats? Okay. Graphics, black and white, inverted color, green boy, old timey. Let me put old timey. Skater size. I'm going to do an old timey giant skater. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm glad that they retain the cheats. Like, games don't have cheat codes anymore. Um, but having them just in, in the menu like that, you know, and not having to type in commands and stuff, I think that's fine. That's cool. You at least still get to screw around with that type of stuff. Um, I don't like this. I'm not. I'm not getting much out of this, but it's cool that it's there. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna try to go to the volcano, but I'm so big I can't really see where I'm going. That's not the volcano, is it? No, that's just an inky black uh, gateway to hell. Maybe. I mean, I'm. I'm really disappointed in what heaven looks like. To be honest with you. Okay. I was hoping um, for more girls to be here. Okay. Oh, let me let me try to hit this thing. No. Oh, is that the is that the chin ramp over there? That would be kind of cool. Cause I get you know this is like. Oh, is this the heaven for the spots, and not heaven for the skater? You know, like, is this the chin ramp? Um. I don't think so. No, because there's the stuff on the top. If it was the chin ramp, that would kind of make sense. You know, like this is heaven for, you know, for spots that don't exist anymore. That would make sense. Okay, so that's it with Tony Hawk 2. Let me kind of see what else there is to do here. So I, how do you buy complete challenges to unlock more slots? So these are the challenges. Okay, so I've done, I've done a lot of them by mistake you see in the bottom right corner how many I've done um, of the challenge collection skater challenges stat points yeah I haven't yeah I'm I think I missed something in Tony Hawk 1 um, yeah land combos with certain tricks in them um, created skate oh that's at zero I don't know why there's a bar there if there's zero um, yeah, so you can, you can claim them. You don't, it doesn't automatically claim them for whatever reason. So, like, you have to hit Y and you get experience or you level up or, or no, that's, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so now I'm getting boards and I'm getting stuff for the, uh, created, create a skater and create a park and stuff like that. Um, you got all this. All this stuff you can do. I got skate bucks. What do you do with skate bucks? I don't really know yet. Um, create a park. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I might screw around with that. Um, okay, so if I wanted to... Let me just... I got nine points here. Might as well. There we go. I'm as close as I can be right now. Um, yeah, so if I wanted to spend money... Okay, so this is plus twenty dollars. Oh, I'll earn twenty dollars if I do that. So what do I what do I spend my money on? I got eleven thousand seven hundred dollars. What do I spend money on? I don't actually know. I think maybe you buy new ramps in the creative park mode, possibly. I'm not sure. But speaking of that, um maybe we should try the creative park mode. I'm not a huge fan of creating my own stuff. I just I don't know. I do creative, oh, skate shop. There we go. Check out the latest and the greatest. So is this, is this real money or is this my skate money? Oh, this is my skate money. Um, this is $12,000. I've got $11,000. One of, oh, there's a board that's $12,000. I mean, the graphic is moving, which is pretty cool. That's kind of a cool idea. I don't hate that. Like, why not? Why not have your board, your graphic move? That one doesn't move. Um, level 90. I'm at level 37. I've beaten the game, and I need that many more levels. Okay, so I can buy 
I can buy stuff. There's lots and lots of stuff. Okay, cool. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with any of this. Uh, this isn't real money. This is in-game money. What's up with those trucks? Those are like freestyle trucks with, with. I mean, there's no spacers even. The wheels just kind of stick to the outside. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, oh, they all look like that. Does my board look like that? No, my board has normal trucks. Okay, I don't know what's up with that. Tattoos? Oh, man, you can see, like, this is the kind of stuff that's missing in Skater XL and Session and stuff like that, you know, just the the kind of stuff you only get from the AAA games where they spend time to just give you tons and tons and tons of stuff like this. I don't really care about any of this, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, just to show you what it's all, what all you can get. Oh, I was hoping some of these other ones would be animated too. I think that's a really cool idea. Okay. Um, I'm really confused why all the trucks are so tiny. Those trucks are really confusing. I don't I don't get that. Okay, create a park. Okay, so you want to buy a loop and buy... Oh, this is the... Yeah, from Tony Hawk 1. You can buy... Oh, and you unlock stuff with levels and all that. Okay, cool. So what I want to do... Can I go into create a park? Featured. Oh, okay. You know what? I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna or no, this is a real one. Okay, this is a this is a real one. I'm gonna play somebody's real park. This should give you an idea of how to actually do it. I just don't have a lot of oh let me fix that. Uh, um no, it was gameplay mods. I have my giant skater and I'm going to do regular colors. There we go. Okay, so now we can see the type of stuff you can do in a top-rated park, keeping in mind that this game came out at like 8 o'clock last night, I think, is when it came out. So, like, you know, it is what it is. You could mod the demo to get to the creative park, so, like, you can have some kind of, some kind of experience with it. All right, so this is pretty fine. Um... A lot of the stuff is very mismatched. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not sure how many options you're gonna have. You know, can you like switch from brick to tile or switch to wood or whatever so that everything has the same theme? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't expect I'm gonna spend a ton of time in this, but the yeah, this, this thing with, with the rails is pretty cool. So you can like, you can make them curve around and have them follow a path that you set instead of just using predefined pieces you can just put them however you want uh, have them curve around and stuff and I think that's that's pretty cool I mean I'm, I'm probably gonna play other people's levels when you know when some more time passes and there's a lot of good ones I want to grind this thing because okay <laughs> whatever yeah that's about what I should have expected it to do um, yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna play more when there's when there's a lot more to look at but yeah, it's cool. You know, this is one thing that I, I would have loved in, in the originals. Like, you know, Tony, my friend, had a had a copy of the game. I had a copy of the game, so we could make levels and then bring over our our save games on our, our memory cards and play stuff. But you know, to be able to share stuff online, to be able to play the top made levels in the world. You know, what what's the top made custom park in Tony Hawk 2, the original? Um, who knows? It's on someone's memory card in their attic somewhere, and five people have played it. You know, so yeah, this is cool. I don't, I don't have any problem with this. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think that's about it for today. I've really enjoyed the game. I think it's really good. Um, it was over with pretty quick, though. So something to keep in mind if you're thinking about buying it. If you're on this channel, there's a pretty good chance that this is for you. Uh, this game, it, it feels a lot like the originals, but it adds on to it. Um, I'm going to do another park while I wrap up. Oh, what's in the park details? Okay. Um, let me pick another one real quick. Uh, level select? No. Wait. Level select. Featured. Okay, I'll I'll do I'll do one of the featured ones. Whatever. These are all uh, made by Vicarious Visions. 
But yeah, so um, the game feels, what is this? Uh, the game feels really good. It feels more like Tony Hawk 4 than it, why doesn't that line up if you were expecting me to grind on that? Uh, it feels a lot more like Tony Hawk 4 than Tony Hawk 2 actually did. <laughs> that was fun. Um, <laughs> my balance is resetting every time. I'm, I don't have any cheats on. It's just doing that. Man, this is going to give me a seizure. Um, uh, cool. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, it, the game feels more like Tony Hawk 4 than it does the originals, but, like, it's it's a lot of fun. I think it's definitely worth... <laughs> I, th I think it's definitely worth checking out uh, if you have nostalgia for these games. It's very good. It's very solid, you know. It's not like Tony Hawk HD where you glitch through the walls and stuff like that. Like, nothing weird happens. It feels polished. It feels good. I think if you liked the original games... Uh, you're gonna have a, a really good time with it. So yeah, that's it for now There will be more coverage a full review and I have to figure out how to reset my career so I can play Tony Hawk 1 again um, And uh, yeah, so you will see more about this game in the future, but for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you later